you have to think about this. Why is it that you can give someone a sugar pill, a saline injection, or perform some false surgery or treatment? And a certain percentage of those people will accept, believe, and surrender to the thought without any analysis that they're getting the real substance or real treatment. And they begin to program their autonomic nervous system to make their own pharmacy of chemicals that matches the exact same chemical or treatment that they think they're getting. Now, it says a few things. Number one, it's not the external substance that's doing the healing because it's inert. There's some type of innate capacity for the body to heal and there's some correlation between the mind and the body. So that pill represents possibility for the person. And so if you think about this, when they see the pill, they're conditioned into thinking that that pill can do something good for them. So in a depression study, for example, three out of four people that are taking a placebo in a depression study get better. Now that's 75%, which means that when that person sees the pill, the pill represents hope, a possibility for them. They begin to select a new idea, a new thought, that they could be better, a possibility. It's called a clear intention. Some people will begin to become inspired, enthusiastic, uh, excited. And when you combine that clear intention with an elevated emotion, you are changing a person's biology from living in the past to living in the future. And they begin to make their own pharmacy of antidepressants that begins to help them. Now, it's not a one-shot deal because in those studies, for example, the person who's taking the placebo has to take that pill for six weeks or eight weeks. So every day, then, they're reminding themselves of a new future reality. And that, that pill represents a symbol. It represents a symbol of hope, a symbol of possibility. And instead of them relating to themselves in a limited way that they have to resign to the idea that they can't think greater than how they feel in the, in the depression study or feelings have become the means of thinking, they're actually changing their physiology by thought alone. And the redundancy and the repetition of that cycle begins to select different functions in the nervous system. And your nervous system is the best pharmacy or drug uh, producer in the world and begins to select new genes and, and, and instruct new genes to cause a person's biology to begin to change. And if you keep knocking on the genetic door, there's a good possibility that you can program a gene or upregulate a gene to do something well and downregulate a gene to turn off. And so my interest is in understanding how the placebo works. How does it work? Once you understand how it works, Will you be able to teach it? Because do you need the sugar pill in order to move into a new state of being? Or can you teach a person to select an unknown instead of a known and continuously select that unknown and emotionally embrace that future before the event occurs, so much so that the body as the unconscious mind begins to believe it's living in that future reality in the present moment and if the person does that, just like taking the placebo for six weeks, alters their state of being every single day, is it possible that that unknown becomes a known and they begin to change their physiology and biology just by thought alone?